Hey guys, this is Ike here, back in the Bakugan video. This time we're taking a look at the Bakugan Ultra Diamond Garganoid. So this is also one of those ones I've had just sitting back for months and months and months now. Just haven't had a chance to open it on video. And this is my last one to open, so I have all my stuff open now. Yay! <laughs> uh, this is an old figure. This isn't anything new. This isn't a, this isn't a re-release or anything. This is from months ago. I just haven't opened it yet. This is Darkest Garganoid Ultra Diamond uh, like always, character card, ability card, two cores. Yeah, nothing crazy here. Let's just get right into it because we know what this guy is. <laughs> Inside, like always, toy battling rules. Checklist with the instructions on how to transform him. Get the cores out of the way really quick. Got a fist and shield, 150B, one damage, and plus 350. Plus 350, plus 300. That doesn't say 50 on there. Plus 300. And really quick look at his cards. So there is his character card, 305. Decent. And then his Evo. For 5, 709. He lands on a shield, plus 800. So it would be 1509. That's pretty decent for five. That's not bad at all. So, there's those. And then we got Garganoid. Alright, and here is Garganoid all in his ball form. It actually looks really cool with his diamond design because all the clear wing is on top, so you can see all of his other stuff, like, shining... Sh not shining clear, but you can see it through the clear plastic. So it looks kind of like a... It looks like a weird, like, alien egg or something. <laughs> A really nice black. I just really love the whole like clear on top. You can see the designs inside. That's really cool. And then just to compare them, I only have the regular, that old Aquas Gargano that came with the deck from forever ago to compare them to, but looks really, really good. So let's see if we can open them on camera. His arrow is right there, right next to the magnet. So. <laughs> there he goes. Garganoid is one of the ones that do like a full flip. He really jumps super high when he opens. A lot of people used him in the beginning of the game because you actually had a good chance of knocking the other Bakugan back if he got to the cores first. He was really fun to play with. <laughs> but here he is all opened up. All of his tail is a solid color because that's the most part that would have stress on it so they can't be clear because it might break. But everything else is clear so you can see the cool chain designs in his wings. His feet and arms are clear. His head is still not clear, but still looks really cool. He looks really cool in Diamond. I really like his design. And then just to compare him to... Here's the regular Garganoid. Wish I had a Darkest one, because I think he looks best in Darkest, but... You can see them compared to each other right there. Still one of my favorite designs. I love how his wings look, honestly. Yeah. Nothing else crazy to say about him. To close him, he's one of the most annoying ones to close in all of Bakugan, in my opinion. So, arms and feet go in. Head gets tucked in. Wings close around him. And then you can close all of his tail. It's really annoying. There you go. <laughs> He's closed. That is Garganoid. <laughs> Alright, that is a super short video. Like I said, this is an old figure. Nothing really crazy to cover here. I just wanted to get it on video just because I had it. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, there's always more Bakugan stuff coming. Um, I have a lot of stuff planned. And I can't wait for all that new stuff to come out. So that's it. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.